Hello everyone, Travis here, and this of course is Carlos. We recently went on a cruise to Alaska, and that was our first time in that part of the world. Carlos has been in the Pacific Northwest a few times before, but never Alaska, and even Seattle was new territory for me. So we're going to talk about that experience today, and yeah. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you, and if you've been here before, welcome back. If at any point you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things. And without any further delay, we'll go ahead and move on into the video. So if you've ever seen any of these videos on my channel before, you know I like to start with the dislikes and then with the likes so we can end on kind of a more positive note. So that'll be the format. We'll do dislikes followed by likes and then we'll both give kind of like our final thoughts at the end. And Carlos is very much trying hard not to sneeze, so <laughs> if... <laughs> so if I sneeze, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first dislike is the internet service. We paid, I don't know how much was it, like 20 something a day or something yeah, like right. that. And um, we, can, we couldn't even like log in to check email sometimes. Um, it would, didn't work half the time. So, so that's a major thumbs down for me on, on, on this cruise. Yeah, so I've mentioned this with Carnival in the past, but I would say that this is definitely like one of the worst of the four that I, um, Carnival cruises I've been on. Uh, it was very spotty. It wasn't reliable at all. Um, Carlos, unfortunately, has a job where he can't fully disconnect. He didn't have to work or anything while we were gone, but um, he still needs to be able to communicate with his colleagues and stuff about things as, you know, he's gone for multiple days at a time. Um, and I couldn't even do that. But yeah, there were days when he had zero contact with the outside world whatsoever, and it wouldn't be a problem if we hadn't paid so much money for it. I think it was not quite 20 a day. I think it was like 17, 18 bucks a day times two. Um, and so that, that's, you know, I mean, that's a lot to be paying for something that isn't going to work. And then the next issue I had, so dislike number two, is the actual cruise port of Seattle. And this is kind of, I think, unique to me and my experience because Carlos doesn't fully agree with me on this one. But the issue I had is they gave everybody like arrival times, you know, like you you had to show up between a certain window or whatever. And they were very adamant about like sticking to your time, sticking to your time and whatever. But then when we got there, they just put everyone in a giant line. At other cruise ports, they had the lines like separated for each time slot. And so, um, you know, I mean, I guess maybe they thought that like if people showed up when they were supposed to, then everybody would be more or less in order anyway. But when we got there at our time slot, the line was absolutely massive, like all the way down the pier. Um, I've never seen a line that long to get on a ship before. So, you know, that was number one. And beyond that, I felt like the way that they had it set up inside wasn't as efficient as it could have been. And then there were some glitches that I had. And so as we were done and they said, you're good and whatever, they had one final check to go on to the gangway. And, um, for whatever reason, they were like, no, you're not good. And then I had to be like pulled aside and there was like kind of this like confusion as to what was going on. Um, the lady physically grabbed me at one point, which I thought was pretty unprofessional, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I was not impressed with the Seattle cruise port. I didn't like the way they operated there. Um, I felt like the staff was kind of eh and whatever. Not the worst experience I think that we could have ever had, but certainly not the best. So yeah, that's a negative mark uh, for me and my experience. Number three. So the limited buffet so what we did is we went during lunch one day and to dinner um, another night and they didn't really have a whole lot of selection so like for dinner it was just like one one entree and then it had its sides and so forth and then you can go get a salad and even the desserts were a little limited and stuff so um, that's one thing that I didn't really like about that was the limited um, options in the buffet area. You know, there was one day that we went there for lunch and we ended up like not even eating there. We were like, let's go get a sandwich or something because the, you know, it basically the way that the buffet was set up is that they expected everyone to have the same thing. You would go down the line and you would have one or two entree options, a few sides, like he said, maybe a salad and some dessert. But beyond that, they I think they were just expecting everyone to just eat that one prepared meal. And obviously there's pizza and, um, and the, Sandwiches, the Indian burgers, place yeah. and all that stuff separate from the buffet. And that's probably why, but it just seems like if you're going 
you know, if you're going to call it a buffet, like have some options, you know, um, and of all the cruise ship buffets that I have experienced so far, this one had the least amount of options at any given time. All right, enough of that negative stuff. Let's, let's be happy now. Um, because we actually really had a hard time coming up with negatives for this cruise. So yeah, we, we were talking about it and we were like, what didn't we like? And there wasn't very much. So, um, we kind of had to pull those uh, out for you all, which is a good thing. I, I think if you're struggling to find negative things to talk about, then that probably meant it was good, a good cruise, right? But now let's talk about the likes. And I'm going to start off by talking about the ship, Carnival Splendor, and our stateroom. We kind of combine those into two. Um, first off, of the four Carnival cruises that I've been on, the Carnival Splendor has been my favorite uh, of the ships. I was on Liberty, Conquest, and Radiance. And, um, Radiance was just recently redone, but now that it's been redone and they're moving away from like the themed kind of ship concept that they had in the eighties and nineties and early two thousands, um, it's a little bit boring and you know, whatever. And then Conquest and Liberty are just like very much showing their age at this point. So, um, I felt like Splendor was very well kept up. I think the theme was really nice. The color of the pink lady, and there was definitely a lot of pink, um, but it looked good. It felt classy in a, in a way, like, you know, uh, some of the theming on some of the carnival ships can be like very vague, like Vegas, almost fake looking. Um, but I don't think that it, you get that feel as much on the Splendor. It feels upscale. It feels kind of classy compared to the other ships I've been on. So that's the ship. Our stateroom was awesome. We splurged and got one of those scenic uh, ocean view cabins. I'll put some footage on the screen so you can see more or less what that looks like. We had two giant windows uh, in the front of the ship. We were right above the bridge. And so we could totally see everything. Best cruise ship room I've ever had um, on, what, 11 cruises now? So yeah, we didn't even have to go outside. You can just sit there and relax and just see what you were seeing outside. And we definitely did that. We would, you know, in the middle of the afternoon, we'd go and sit in our room and just, you know, have a drink or whatever by our little table by the window and just watch and see what we could see. But yeah. The next thing that I, that, that we liked from this cruise ship was all the scenery and the wildlife. It was very, very, very beautiful. I was excited that we got to go see the glaciers that are thousands and thousands of years old um, and how uh, they still exist. Uh, we were able to get a mile away from them, so that's pretty close. <laughs> um, and we got to see a lot of icebergs as well, so and waterfalls and, and everything. So that was my favorite, my uh, one of my highlights as well. Yeah, and our captain was, with his superior navigation skills, was able to get us into that area really far in. And he told us that that's the furthest that they've gotten in all season. This was early in the season, so um, they've probably gotten closer since then. Uh, but it was pretty interesting to like look around and you're surrounded by icebergs and things. And um, But you could definitely see the glacier and all the mountains and greenery and scenery. It was very, very nice. So I, I absolutely agree with that bullet point as well. And the last thing I want to talk about for likes is the people. Um, I always meet really cool people when I'm traveling, you know, on cruise ships and stuff. Um, the cruise, I guess, clientele tends to be pretty social and easy to get along with and whatever. I've never had issues with anyone. Um, but this was a little bit extra special. We uh, had a, a whole crew of us that hung out at Alchemy all the time. And uh, we became pretty close, exchanged contact information, still talked to some of the people regularly, etc. Um Yulia and FJ and Angel, Angel, um, are the three bartenders that we had at Alchemy and all three of them were amazing. Um, definitely a, you know, powerful trio of great bartenders and the vibe at Alchemy on this cruise, I think was the best of any, um, at least Alchemy that I've experienced, but maybe even best of any bar ever, um, on a cruise ship. So yeah, it was totally like cheers up in there every day. Um, it was a place where everybody knows your name, as they say. But yeah, so great people, good bartenders, good vibe. Exactly. I mean, everybody on the ship was pretty, pretty good. The, the announcers, the uh, oh, I guess we the, forgot about the, the fun the, club crew, or yeah, the or, fun squad, or the, the fun squad. The <laughs> yeah. cruise director was really hilariously funny. I forgot to mention Andy. He deserves a shout out for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just so many good people that we met, and yeah. A couple of final thoughts on, at least from my end, is um, 
I definitely recommend uh, you do the Alaskan cruise if you've never done it. Um, it offers a lot of, of amazing views, animal wildlife. Um, it just makes you appreciate what Mother Earth has to offer, I guess. So I definitely recommend it. I would definitely do it again. Um, I would want to do it during the winter. I don't know if that exists or not, but, mm, um, but not, not for cruising. That's for sure. But. <laughs> but it would be nice to see all like the, the, all the wildlife, the forest areas full of snow and stuff like that. Yeah, so, that's true. um, so those are my final thoughts. Um, uh, definitely recommend I give it a, a, a 10 out of 10. And then final thoughts for me. Um, yeah, this was. I've done a lot of like tropical Caribbean, you know, Baja California type cruises that, um, you know, much more focused on like beaches and swimming and all that stuff. Um, so this was a different vibe. I wasn't convinced that I would like Alaska when we first started talking about it, but it was something I wanted to try just because it was different. Um, and I think this is definitely something we're going to do again. I thought it was going to be a one and done kind of thing initially, but that's not the case. Um, this is something we'll probably repeat every couple of years. Uh, and try it on the different cruise lines and stuff. Um, this was your first carnival cruise. Um, and yeah, I think, I think he enjoyed it. Uh, definitely a different vibe from like MSC and the others, but, um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And yeah, I uh, can recommend also 10 out of 10. Um, and Carlos said that he's going to attempt the outro today. So, um, we'll go ahead and close things out. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we would like to thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Uh, comment, like, and all those fun things, and we'll talk soon. Have a good night. <laughs>